Yo, it is good, yo, it's your boy Ty back here with another video, and in this video today, we're going to be talking about the long zero gravity kind of grind that it has been throughout this season. So the zero gravity rewards, you started with a 75 overall gold Giannis, we're now to a 94 overall diamond Rick Smith. Now, this upcoming week, starting, you know, on Monday, obviously we get... Pink Diamond on Monday, Pink Diamond on Tuesday, Opal, Opal, and then a free Dark Matter on Friday. So here's the deal, guys. Right now, it looks like there's 20 challenges out there. Uh, if you start with Giannis, you honestly can knock these out, I would say, in a couple hours. It shouldn't take you too long. But I do think it's worth grinding and catching up on because not only do I think uh, these cards this next week are going to be good, if you are no money spent, guy like Robert Covington can play for quite some time, and even Rick Smith can compete against some of the best bigs in the game. And so, for me, I do think it is worth you guys catching up on some of these if you have not yet, especially because we are going to get a big, big week this upcoming week. Now, here's the deal, guys. This is a make or break in my team. We've seen it time and time again. 2K lets us down when it comes to free content. So, can we finally not get let down in NBA 2K22, my team? Hey, that's the ultimate goal. But you really just, you can never expect too much with 2K. But all I'm asking for is for the dark matter to be really good, really solid. And then either one, and then one of the two Galaxy Opals and one of the two Pink Diamonds. That's really all I ask for is if we get three really solid cards this upcoming week. I will not complain one bit. But here's the deal, guys. No matter what, this is going to be some of the best content that we have gotten in a very long time. This kind of combined with the playoff moment stuff that has been going on. I mean, you look at 2K Database. I mean, we've gotten a lot of free content in general. I mean, we really have. I mean, obviously, you got these the playoff players, with which Marcus Smart, Mikael Bridges, are obviously really solid cards. And then again, basically one free card every single weekday we've even got this card who is just absolutely incredible so here's the deal guys here's the deal when we're talking about diamonds we're getting diamonds right now that are solid but they're not great these pink diamonds better have 20 hall of fame badges and i'm, I'm not just saying this to say it these pink that maybe not 20 at least like 17 these pink diamonds better be these the, the level of boris diao jonathan kaminga and why, why do I want them to be this next level good? Because look, guys, I've spent a lot of time grinding these challenges, and, and it's almost the end. And look, with where content is headed, I mean, we're getting invincible cards. There's no reason for 2K to hold back, giving us a decent pink diamond. So from my perspective, from my point of view, there's no reason that 2K can't give us, you know, there's so many different pink diamonds here uh, that we could possibly see, but... I'm trying to get, get to some pink diamonds before the end game type of time, but who says no to a new Andrew Wiggins free pink diamond? Heck, Scotty Pippen free pink diamond would be fine with me. I mean, the list goes on and on. It's going to be nearly impossible to predict, but if you can kind of see the trend, guys, it's pretty random, right? It, it really is. Current player, uh, a lot of current players, honestly, in here, and then some that aren't current players. Covington was a current player. Rick Smith is not. So it's just one of those things I really do feel like it's impossible to predict. I feel like these cards are just absolutely random. But in general, guys, this month has been fun. Every single day, you've had some sort of new content. Now, as time goes on this upcoming week, guys, you should have a, a, a some sort of new card to use. I should have a gameplay to get out to you guys of these free cards every single day this upcoming week. Now, I'm not going to sit here and say these cards are going to be better than Robert Covington was because Covington will always be my GOAT. But my thing is this, as long as it's solid content in my team, I don't think many people in the community are going to care too much. Now, again, that is just my opinion on things. Another thing I'm thinking about. Now, I don't know if, if this, again, I don't know if this holds true. But just the way I see it, do we have duplicate teams in here? Okay, so 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 why am I asking this? Well, there's 25 total players, and I do not know. I'm trying to look as, as I'm talking through this. I don't know if we've gotten two players from the same team yet. And, and is this a big deal? I mean, not really, but it's just something to keep in the back of your minds if you're trying to predict who's coming next. Well, 
I don't see any duplicate teams here, okay? Uh, Boston Celtics, I guess, uh, kind of ruined that trend, but it's, uh, what I, my whole point is I doubt we're gonna get, you know, two Boston Celtics players, so, you know, don't expect another Robert Williams if we've already got Grant Williams. Kind of think out, outside of the box here. Uh, it doesn't really align, so we're not gonna get one player from every team, but just kind of something to think about is the randomness of it. Don't be surprised if we just get a player from just, the most random team uh like the washington wizards or just some, something absolutely random but it, i i honestly do like this concept and the fact that we're getting two free pink diamonds and two galaxy opus as well as a free dark matter is all the reason for you guys to start the grind i mean i, I if you think and, and look at the, the the grind it's playing one game okay then playing five minutes scoring four points scoring 10 points with a player scoring five points uh in the paint it's all super easy stuff. It, it really is. And you can get basically, I think you can get every one of these challenges done in triple threat offline. So it's not hard to do. Super easy. Uh, pretty time efficient. Again, I feel like you can get caught up in right around two hours. I mean, I was pretty behind the other day. I was in like the Sapphire or Emerald range and I grinded all the way to Diamond in about an hour. So I'm guessing you can get it basically done uh, or all caught up in about two hours and I, I definitely think it's worth it because if we're getting a 93 overall Robert Covington that was his level or even if you go back to the 87 overall Smush Parker we've seen some really solid cards for their tiers now I'm not gonna sit here and say it's been game breaking content but we need a big week from my team I don't know if I've ever asked or, or wanted my team to come through more than I want them to come through right now I think that they have so much opportunity to give us such good cards right now in my team. I mean, heck, I'm not. I'm just throwing this guy out here because he's a random guy that I, I just thought of. Matisse Thibel. If we got a really good Matisse Thibel that had like quicker shifty dribble style, he has a Kobe size escape, decent jump shot, can play the shooting guard. As a pink diamond, I'm fine with getting this card. And it's just one of those things. 2K's got to make decent cards. I, nobody, guys, I promise you, nobody's going to want a John Stockton pink diamond, which is a limited reward option. So he's obviously not going to be there. But well, my whole point is nobody wants these small guards. They want guys that are going to be usable that are free. Because here's my whole point, guys. Here's my whole point. If somebody is no money spent, right, and they've strictly just grinded these out, they should be able to at least make a really solid starting lineup. And Covington's really solid. Rick Smith's is solid enough to play. But outside of those two, I really wouldn't want to play with Brandon Clark. Vinny Del Negro is okay, or even Kenyon Martin Jr. is not a guy I love. But it's just one of those things. If you grind all these challenges with the Pink Diamonds and Galaxy Opus in the Dark Matter coming up, you should have five, six, or at minimum. Honestly, all these cards should be playable. So you should have at minimum seven really solid options for grinding this free content. And I know HTB tweeted it the other day that the gap between all money, all money spent and, and no money spent is really not very large right now. This year, it's been so easy to be no money spent. And I mean, it's just one of those things. If you are really new to the game, grind these, you're going to get a really good head start. Uh, you know, and, and this again, it's free. You don't have to spend MT. You play a little triple threat offline, make some, uh, make some MT from that, and you can put yourself in a pretty good position. So, all in all, guys, I think so far the zero, this kind of zero gravity thing has went well. But it's either a make or break thing in my team. I mean, they, if if four out of these next five cards are just not good, the community is going to be in an uproar. It's that simple. Everybody's grinded 16. No, everybody's gonna grinded 20 challenges. I don't know where I got 16 from. Everybody's grinded 20 challenges so far. And if they lay an egg this week, the community is going to be in an uproar and it deserves to be because this is something 2K did for us. And I, I think it's a good thing. It's a fun thing but they've got to finish it off. They give us just solid cards that can compete against the best. Nobody really can complain in my team. I'm trying to think of the dark matter, guys. I think I got Lamar Odom on the thumbnail. Who says no, guys? Hear me out. Who says no to a Lamar Odom? Paul George base on very quick. Paul George dribble south. Give him the Trey Young size of escape. Kobe size of escape. I don't really care, but just great tendencies, animations, good height. Hey, just throwing the name out there because he would be an all-around complete small forward power forward in NBA 2K22 my team. Hopefully 2K can finish this, finish this off 
get us a really good player in my team that we can all utilize but let me know your thoughts on the zero gravity rewards and, and just the agendas that we have gotten all season long have you guys liked grinding it every single day staying up to date on it getting new cards every day or do you guys not really care about this and think it's a waste? I personally love this. A waste for me is like the dynamic ratings. I mean, there's no reason 2K spends that much time updating their ratings for cards that really don't play. But this is something useful and something fun for nearly the entire community. So drop a like on the video. Subscribe if you are new. And as always, man, I love you guys. Have a blessed day.